can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Hauntel Hall mean anything to I'm you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers' best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. <gasps> that's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why.
Revelio. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. This is goblet metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. When the clouds are dark is always the best time to strike. It's as if nature herself lends a veil beneath which to walk himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Rebellion. Revelio. What in Merlin's name? 
Are those dragons? It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. But I wouldn't give to be a demo guys right now. Don't know what Victor was thinking, striking a bargain with him. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her, shall we? Dragon Egg. Hepodean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Hello, Hamora.
All right, I have the egg. Ready. Let's make them count. In black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. 
Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. <laughs>